Okay, this thing, I might have pulled it a little bit right there, you see that. But, pretty good otherwise. By using an eight millimeter uh, wrench to take off that bolt and that bolt right there to remove this little air filter thing. Uh, nuts that came off, and you can see a little blue thing in there. This is called a nylock or a nylon nut because that little blue thing is supposed to like make it a little more secure. Once you tighten it down, it like grips onto the threads of the bolt. And then over here, you can see there's a washer there and there's a washer down there. Pull this thing off. Maybe a rabbit will come out of here. That's why my engine's not been starting. Wow, look at that. Cool. Just a big hollow thing. You know? It's like a it's like a clown's nose. And you can see on the bottom of this how like there's a little bit of discoloration there because that's where all the fuel will drip out right down there. Right there. It's all where fuel comes out when I uh use my priming technique so I don't flood the engine. With you. So when you choke an engine, like when you choke someone, you like cut off their air supply, right? So that they can't breathe. Well, when you choke an engine on the mini plane, this lever down here, when you, when you uh, pull this down, that engages the choke. And what that does is if you look right up here, this like so, this gold plate, it's probably pure, pure gold, knowing the, the mini plane. But when you pull the uh, lever down, it closes off the, uh, the air. It, it, it prevents less air from coming in from the uh, uh, air filter into the carburetor, so it makes a more rich mixture. Is so These four screws here, I'm gonna take off this, uh, this is where the fuel pump is. It's right below this little plate. I'm just using a Phillips uh, screwdriver here. Okay, so this is what I just took off of the uh, back of the carburetor. Uh, so fuel's coming out. You guys can see it here. Woo! There's that, that plate. You guys can see the fuel on my hand. Okay, put that guy right there for safekeeping. And this little guy right here is the, the actual pump. Oh, you saw it drip. That guy comes off just like that, okay? And, and this guy right here, there's actually two pieces on here. There's the pump and there's actually like a little gasket. Or there's a little like, they're kind of stuck to, together, but you, you can see there. Taking a flathead screwdriver, and I just loosen this little guy right here. It's just got a little, it's like a clamp that comes off, and this. Now maybe I can engage the choke, and then push it down, and off. Woohoo! There's another. Remember how there was this little guy that was up here? There's another one right down here for the throttle. And as I squeeze on the throttle here. It pulls on this cable, right? Which twists this lever down here. And there's a second, uh, I'm gonna call the pure gold plate inside, even though it's not. And you can see it opens up that lever. Or I mean, it, it opens up that, that disc. And the reason this spring is so important is because this closes it. It's like keeps tension on that inner disc thing. So whenever you start your engine, you wanna make sure that this thing is returning because if it's not and your throttle gets stuck open, then this sucker's gonna go to full power. So there's actually nothing that's uh, bolting this carburetor to whatever this thing is it just slides on these two uh, bolts so I'm not done taking off yet but if, if you just look see how it just slides so I gotta take this guy off and that guy off and then the whole thing is gonna slide right off so that's this uh, gold 
nipple is where the gas comes into right here and um, you just can take a pliers or just squeeze it with your fingers because this little clamp is on the end slide that back and then I just took a flathead screwdriver and I just kind of pried right here at the base and this thing just kind of slipped right off so it wasn't it wasn't difficult to get off at all don't yank on it just kind of pry it up a little bit and then this guy will come right off okay last thing that we gotta get off is this little guy right here and then the carb is gonna slide right off. And here's my trick. I took this flathead screwdriver, which is this red one, and I kind of jammed it down the corner there, and then I rotated the other one so that it hits the, the flathead screwdriver so I can get some leverage. And then I just uh, loosened the, uh, the um, screw, and now I'll be able to take it out. Uh, so this is the spring, and these are these two little cap pieces one goes in the bottom then the spring then one goes on the top for for right here um, this is for like that little the little thing that closes the throttle back oh my god hallelujah oh wow wow Okay, so we got the carb off. Just used a Phillips screwdriver again. There are four screws that have these little built-in washers. And I think, I think this is like the metering side. Okay, you saw some liquid come off there. You see a bunch of liquid in here. Um, it smells like gas. All right, guys, I went over to Ace Hardware and I bought this small engine carb cleaner uh, for about five bucks, a little less, and then um, I'm going to take out the mixture screw, which is the long one, and then the idle screw, which is the, the one that's got a cone on it. I'm going to screw those all the way out, and then I'm going to take the carb cleaner with this little uh, nozzle thing here, and I'm going to put it in all these little holes and kind of just spray everything out. Okay, so there's the uh, two screws out. That's the mixture one. That's the idle one. And they went right in there. Wear some eye protection because I sprayed this stuff and it like shot right back at me and went into my face. And two, you never know when you find spray in these little holes where this is going to go. So here's one. I'm going to put it in this thing and just spray. Okay? Then it's spraying out the other way. So like anything can happen, man. You know, you could spray in here and it could come out in your kitchen, who, who knows, so just... Uh... I ended up using about half of this can to clean um, the carb, and I also ended up um, taking out this little spring piece, which sits right in here, and I'm gonna just put everything back uh, the way that I got it. 